Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today with a really exciting result to share with you which is the latest MacBook Air uh, with the M1 sock which is just awesome and I was really curious to see in terms of raw performance how good it was because of all the announcement and so on and so forth and it's awesome 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 now I did share on my Instagram Portuguese Instagram but I'll share a picture right over there in terms of Geekbench as you can see comparing with my MacBook Pro 13 inches which I can post the specifications somewhere on the screen and also with my Mac mini it smokes them both so the Apple M1 chip is in terms of her performance just awesome and I'm really curious to see what comes next M2, M3, whatever Apple decides to put on the higher end MacBook Pro and also on the Mac Mini and so on and so forth, it will be just awesome. I'm really curious to see how awesome it can be. Now, moving to something that I use on a daily basis, which is the Final Cut Pro 10 tool, because we will do some videos right over here in terms of raw performance, in terms of productivity, in terms of real world results, because benchmarks are just benchmarks. And if we take a look at the MacBook Air, we can see more or less the results that we will have on the latest Mac mini with the M1 and even the MacBook Pro with the M1 as well. Have in mind that this is the lowest configuration on the MacBook Air with the 7 core GPU. So you will have theoretically a better performance with the superior M1 with 8 core GPU. So just have that in mind. Now, in terms of Final Cut Pro 10, which, as I said, it's the tool that I use on a daily basis, editing this kind of video, which is a 1080 timeline with nothing special, just a few cuts here and there, texts and so on and so forth, transitions, nothing really special. The usual for a usual guy like myself. And just having one of my videos as an example, which is a 13 minute video, which I did record a few days ago regarding the Galaxy Fit 2. And I did render on the MacBook Air and also on the MacBook Pro side by side. And guess what? The difference is quite crazy. On the Air, I can render it for two minutes and 30 seconds. And on the MacBook Pro, it took three minutes and 13 seconds, which is a lot for a simple project such as this one. Now, the thing that I can say right over here is imagine that the project is even bigger, the difference will be also bigger. We also have to see this and this is just awesome. I also compared with my Mac Mini, which has a dedicated GPU, the AMD 5500 XT, and it's slower, just by six seconds, but it's slower. And if we count the investment that I've got right over there in terms of the external enclosure, the external GPU, or the GPU itself, and the Mac Mini, uh, just having this one right over here for this kind of workflow at this moment for someone that it's on a market for it, it's just a great option. And of course, with the advantage that we can pick it up and take it somewhere else. Now, this will give us an idea of the kinds of performance that we will find at this moment on the Mac Mini and also on the MacBook Pro. Of course, there's something that I'm not really enjoying on the Mac Mini, which is the lack of the two ports, Thunderbolt ports, and also no support for external GPU. But having in mind that it's smoked even with the external GPU, not really sure which is the best way to go. Of course, if we plan to do some gaming, the external GPU will be great, but just for video editing and this kind of work, it's a tough choice. And guys, hopefully this video was helpful to decide if you are going to this scenario or not. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there. Leave your questions down below, tests that you want to see the made. I will try to do the most tests as possible. After Effects, Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve and so on, I will bring them right over here. But for today, this is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you did, right over there. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.